Certain destinations just pop up in your mind when you think of taking a vacation. If you want to enjoy a wide selection of water activities, you are most definitely thinking about the Maldives. If you want to go fashion shopping while enjoying precious views of ancient landmarks like Notre Dame and modern attractions like Disneyland, then Paris is the spot for you. Another top vacation destination that boasts beautiful beaches, world-renowned tourist spots, and warm hospitality is the Philippines. Did you know that the Philippines has over 7,000 islands? That alone is just incredible, and the nation offers much more to its foreign visitors. Let us have an insight as to how significant the Philippines' tourism sector is to the country's GDP. As a bonus, we'll also look at how the COVID-19 pandemic affected the sector and how the tourism industry is making a huge comeback. Strap your belts, you are in for a wild ride. With several eye-catching destinations like the lovely beaches in Boracay and the bountiful rice fields of Banaue, it is no surprise that the Philippines is one of the top tourist locations in the world. Like Boracay, Cebu and Palawan are some of the most famous beaches in the Philippines, well known for their crystal clear water, white sand and coveted nightlife. The Banaue rice terraces have become a UNESCO World Heritage Site, boasting the prowess and skills of the Ifugao. The Philippines has more than 7,000 unique islands, making the archipelago a favorite spot for tourists looking for fun and some adventure. The nation's cultural heritage also serves as as a beacon calling on those who love to experience diverse cultures all around the world. Not many places in the world can offer a culture influenced by Spaniards, Americans and Asians. In Manila, there lies a walled city known as Intramuros. This 64-hectare city, which was once a fortress, serves as a reminder of when the Filipinos were under the rule of the Spaniards. If you want to visit the Philippines, you should check out the oldest church in the Philippines, San Agustin Church, which is in Intramuros. Manila is also home to one of the most iconic and historical landmarks in the Philippines. The Rizal Park is a 60-hectare public park named Named after national hero Dr. Jose P. Rizal. Tourists love its well-trimmed gardens and dancing fountain. Who doesn't want to see a dancing fountain? The ruins of Bacon Church, situated in Negros Oriental, are a testament to the architectural ingenuity of early Filipinos. This blend of dynamic traditions has given rise to a wide array of festivals, dance techniques and cuisines in the Philippines. The country's capital, Manila, is a busy metropolis with an incredible history. While Cebu, the second largest city in the country, is a hotspot for commerce and culture, other popular tourist destinations include the Tubataha Refes Natural Park and the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park. Both parks are also UNESCO World Heritage Sites. There's also the Chocolate Hills, which are sadly not made of actual chocolates by the way. Clearly, the Philippines has earned the right to be one of the most visited tourist spots in the world. From its rare historical landmarks to its crystal clear beaches, the Philippines has spent decades attending to the needs of tourists seeking adventure. Without a doubt, this massive influx of tourists has boosted the country's GDP and made its tourist sector indispensable to the government. How? Let us find out. The Filipinos cannot talk about their nation's economic prosperity without mentioning the tourism industry's contribution. Recently, the Philippines has emerged as a key player in the tourism sector on a global scale. In 2019, the sector was responsible for 10.4% of the country's GDP. How did this happen? Well, the Philippines received over 8 million foreign tourists. Consequently, it recorded $64 billion, which is approximately PHP 3.3 trillion dollars in tourism revenue. That year alone, over 3.7 million Filipinos were employed in the tourism industry, bringing its total workforce to about 5.5 million. As you may have suspected, this stunning achievement made waves in other industries, like the hospitality and transportation sectors as well. Because of the number of tourists the Philippines receives, its government has invested quite a lot of money into its road networks, airports and hotels. These investments ensure that foreigners 
customers can easily get to their destinations as easily and as smoothly as possible. They can also enjoy the Filipinos' hospitality while lodging in the world-class hotels the Philippines has to offer. Entrepreneurs also enjoy this stream of tourists as it boosts their sales. Filipino vendors and small-scale entrepreneurs have developed various strategies to provide unique, one-of-a-kind experiences and services to tourists, one they can pay good money for and keep coming back for. Now, these businesses depend on the flow of tourists into their country, giving birth to a dynamic and sustainable economic ecosystem. The Filipino government has launched some community-focused tourism initiatives across the country. Local communities in Palawan and Batanes enjoy a portion of the revenue generated by the tourism industry. At the end of the day, the Philippines has become interdependent on the ebb of foreigners visiting the country. However, like any other sector contributing to a country's economy, tourism has faced its fair share of battles and is still facing some. Global economic downturns and geopolitical tensions can influence the number of people visiting the Philippines. A good example is the COVID-19 pandemic. Up next, Next, we will be looking at how the COVID-19 pandemic not only took the world by storm, but also affected the Filipino tourism sector. In the words of Miley Cyrus, COVID-19 came in like a wrecking ball. The whole world came to a standstill, making 2020 one of the grimmest years for mankind. Accordingly, the global tourism industry took some major hits from the pandemic, and the Filipino tourism sector was not spared. In 2020, the number of foreigners visiting the Philippines dropped to 1.4 million. This figure is a whopping 82.1% reduction from the previous year's record of 8.2 million. The number of tourists plummeted because of the implementation of lockdowns, traveling restrictions and border closures, which were imposed worldwide. The archipelago thus witnessed some major economic repercussions. This series of unexpected events led to a ripple effect throughout the Filipino and global tourism industries. It affected small-scale businesses, hotels, transportation providers, and tour guides that relied on tourists. Thousands of these businesses had no option but to close their doors and shut down their operations. Several tourism-related workers became unemployed as tourist-driven businesses struggled to stay afloat. According to the World Travel and Tourism Council, the Philippines experienced a 75% dip in employment opportunities in the tourism sector in 2020. Faced with no other option, the Filipino government had to intervene immensely during the pandemic. It rolled out several financial aid packages and loan aids to help business owners during the period of adversity. These measures proved to be a good choice as they sustained some companies and prevented the total collapse of the tourism industry. Since the flow of international tourism had been temporarily stopped, the Philippines had to depend on local tourism. Locals who could not travel past their nation's borders while away time exploring their home country. While this action may have slightly helped, it was nowhere close to reprieving the actual loss the tourism industry faced without its international tourists. After the COVID-19 pandemic dealt a crushing blow, the Philippines has chosen to be resilient and rejuvenate its tourism sector. In the coming and final chapter, let us find out how the Filipino government plans to bounce back from the effects of the global pandemic. COVID-19 brought the world and its various sectors to an abrupt halt in 2020. It left millions of Filipinos in the tourism industry unemployed and businesses struggling to stay afloat. Regardless of these unprecedented events, the Philippines' tourism sector is still alive and has set its plans to make a huge comeback in motion. The industry showcased its ability to adapt to such adversities by gradually introducing travel bubbles and virtual tours. Tourism Enterprises now depend on digital platforms to offer 360-degree experiences and online booking. To combat the challenges brought by the pandemic, the Philippines has launched ingenious marketing campaigns to rebuild foreigners' confidence in visiting the country. By launching the Tourism Restart Campaign, the Department of Tourism DOT, has made use of various social media platforms and digital marketing strategies to boost domestic tourism and re 
reassure people about travel safety. Additionally, its government put in place a number of health measures, like social distancing and wearing of masks, to reassure tourists about their safety. Statista reported in 2022 that 76% of international travellers have become more careful in selecting travel destinations, preferring locations that are compliant with health regulations. The DOTI's Safe Penis, Safe Philippines initiative outlines guidelines for health and safety measures across tourism establishments. The government also played its part in recovering the tourism sector by allocating sizable funds for some projects. The Bayanihan to Recover as One Act single-handedly pushed 196 million tulinos, roughly PHP 10 billion, into the industry for infrastructural development and capacity building. The COVID-19 pandemic drove the tourism sector to adopt sustainability and welcome eco-friendly measures like waste reduction, energy conservation, and many more. The Sustainable Tourism in Islands and Coastal Areas Stika, plan promotes responsible tourism and protects the Philippines' natural resources. Already, there are signs that the Filipino tourism sector is recovering. The DOT observed that the number of international tourists increased by 43.5% in the first half of 2023, compared to that of 2022. The 2020-20 pandemic might have dealt a huge blow to the Filipino tourism industry. However, the sector is poised to become stronger, more resilient, and more sustainable from adversity. Sadly, it is time to let you go. But don't worry, feel free to enjoy content just like this on the channel. Subscribe to not miss out on more exciting videos to come. Thanks for watching.